Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This time uh, I'm doing a 101 guide to surviving Left 4 Dead on Expert. Uh, now first and foremost you want to turn the captions on. Now this is for uh, people who are audibly impaired. Uh, however it can be very helpful and if you've watched any of my other videos then you will see that I do have the captions turned on. And that's basically because it gives you an advanced warning as to uh, what may be lurking around the next corner. Like, for example, you're going along, it will say incoming attack if there's a horde coming, and then uh, you get about a five second heads up compared to everyone else. Uh, well, it depends on the horde, but usually about that. Uh, also, if there's a tank, it will say tank growls, or if there's a witch, it will say witch moans, or something like that. So you will know that that is coming up even if you can't hear it, so that can be very helpful. Alright, secondly, you want to choose the right weapon for you. Uh, the only weapon I would not recommend getting is the Assault Rifle slash the M16. Uh, that is mainly because out of, sort of like the super weapons, I guess you could call them, it's sort of like the worst one, because the hunting rifle, uh, that is one bullet can kill potentially an unlimited amount of zombies no matter what distance they are and no matter where you hit them so if there's a zombie way in the distance you can shoot him in the shin and kill him uh, or if you shoot him in the chest and there's a zombie behind him it will go through him and kill the zombie behind him as well and as far as I'm aware that can do that for potentially an unlimited number of zombies assuming they're all stood in a row and uh, that's sort of like the same with the auto shotty but the only problem with that is that's a lot shorter range but I'd recommend at least one person on your team have the hunting rifle because it can be very good. All uh, right. Thirdly, don't be greedy with health packs. Right? If you have 80 health and a health pack, and there's a person on your team who's got 10 health, even if you don't know them, right? Even if they're just a random person, heal them. Because right? no one likes a person who is greedy with health. And um, you know, if you heal them then in the future, if the situation is reversed, they'll remember that you've healed them and more likely than not, they will end up healing you. Um, so that could be quite a good thing to remember. Also, uh, when a horde comes, stick together and get into a room with a single entrance or a room, or, or a corner, sorry. And uh, remember you can melee whilst reloading. So you basically want if you're getting into a corner, you want two people at the front crouching and two people at the back standing and uh, or just try and bundle all four into the corner if you can. And uh, then basically just have everyone shooting. Make sure you don't shoot team members because on expert it will incapacitate them one shot uh, unless it's with the pistol. Um, let's see, just remember whilst reloading you can still hit zombies back. Uh, okay, that brings me on to point number five. Sticking together can be helpful, but it's not always the best thing. Uh, like, for example, if you've seen my other video where I show you about the uh, the running on a head bug, where basically if you start a trigger event, one person can run on a head, or three people can run on a head potentially. Um, it's it's basically. A team of three on expert has a fairly decent chance, and a person by themselves is usually pretty screwed. However, they they can have a very good chance of success if you've just started a trigger event, uh, like on the I think it's the sewers of the No Mercy campaign, uh, where you've got the elevator that you have to press get it to go up and then you're on the roof and you've got to run along there. If you have one person press that and leg it to the end, and then all the other three team members go and hide somewhere, usually in that room opposite the lift. Uh, that's sort of like the best area. Uh, you know, the one near the petrol pumps. Uh, so if you get three people to hide in there and one person to run on ahead, then that one person running on ahead, they have a fairly decent chance of getting to the end. Uh, but even if they don't, even if they die, they will respawn by the time you get to where they were. Uh, and like I said, a team of three, they're still pretty decent, so you should be alright. Uh, and also, if that one person does get to the end, once they are there and you three, or the team of three, sorry, um, start going for the end, 
if loads of zombies spawn and the team of three end up dying, it's not a major loss because as a team you've still progressed. Uh, also you want to make sure that you watch each other's backs, like if you see a zombie running after someone, uh, coming up behind them, tell them that is coming up behind them. And um, so you know, I, d I definitely recommend having a microphone because it is a lot faster than typing that like, there's a hunter after me and that brings me on to my sixth point of uh, ask for help if you need it. Like if you're going along and you can hear a hunter after you, say in your microphone I may need help in a minute because there's a hunter after me because every second that that hunter is on you it is doing massive amounts of damage. Uh, so yeah, ask for help if you need it, like if you hear a smoker coming or whatever, you know, tell people there is a smoker coming and he's trying to lick me to death or whatever. Uh, so hopefully that should help and thank you for watching.